Good morning, guys. It's Miss Shepard. Today we're going to be working on fractions, mixed numbers, and decimals as quotients. This goes along with our standard 5NF3 interpretive fraction as division of a numerator by the denominator. Solve word problems involving division of whole numbers leading to answers in the form of fractions or mixed numbers by using visual fraction models or equations to represent the problem. Jared, Monica, and Heather have five hallways to decorate for the student council. If they share the work equally, how much will each student decorate? I represented each hallway with a rectangle. Each student could take one full hallway. Jared, you can take that one. Monica, you can take that one. Heather, you can take that one. What would we do with these last two hallways? We're going to split them into three pieces. And again, I can give Jared some, Monica some, and Heather some. Now I want to look at the pieces. Jared has one full hallway and two pieces of the three each hallway split into. Monica has one full hallway and two pieces of the three that it's split into. And Heather also has one full hallway and two small pieces out of the three. So each student would decorate one full hallway and two pieces out of the three of the other hallways. Therefore, it would be one and two thirds hallways for each student. Find the quotient of 36 divided by 10 as a fraction and a decimal. How many times will 10 go into 36? Three. How many will be left over? What would be the remainder? So I would say 3 times 10 gives me 30. So I would have 6 left over. How would we write that as a fraction or a mixed number? Since it went in 3 full times, 3 would be our whole number. And remainders become new, our new numerator. And the denominator stays the same. Now, how would we write that as a decimal? Let's quickly review what we know about decimals. After a decimal place, we have place values of tenths, hundreds, and thousands. Therefore, we would write our three in front of the decimal. And since six is over the tenths, it would be in that first place value after the decimal making the answer look like this, and we would read it three and six tenths. Nine people want to share a 50 pound sack of rice equally by weight. How many pounds of rice should each person get? Between what two numbers does your answer lie? We ask ourselves, how many times will 9 go into 50? 5. What is 9 times 5? 45. How many pounds would be left? 5. What two numbers would the answer fall between? 
since it goes into it five times and there are five left over, it is between five and six because it's bigger than five and smaller than six. Each person would get five whole pounds and five ninths of another pound. That would make the answer five and five ninths. I really hope this helps. Bye, guys.